Ariel Hawani post-fight at UFC 161 alongside Stipe Miocic, who just pulled off a huge upset over Roy Nelson. And Stipe, I'll ask you off the bat, was that an upset? In your opinion, did you pull off an upset or was that supposed to happen? Well, on the bookies part, it was. <laughs> on, the, on the betting odds, I guess, you know, I mean, I was confident going in. I have the best coaches in the world. They told me what, you know, what to do, and, you know, I felt confident. I thought I was going to win the fight. Did you listen to the chatter before this fight? Did any of that seep through your mind, people saying that you were going to get done in the first round? Motivated me. You know, I think anyone would motivate anyone. You know, there's a, <laughs> I have a lot of things going on right now, you know, family-wise and stuff like that, you know, and, uh, you know, I had a good guy, one of our coaches had to go home, you know, and he's a good guy, and, you know, I hope he's all right. Was that a distraction for you? Not at all. Not at all, you know. And Steve and Ava, I love you guys. He's okay? Everything's good. Okay, well, that's great. Was that dedicated to him? Yeah. And in there, were you just, I mean, it looked like you had, I mean, we know about your striking, right? Golden gloves, all that stuff. But you just looked like you were so confident and so calm. The, the moment didn't get to you. Did it feel that way? My coaches, that's all I keep saying. That's My it. coaches, man. They, they, they prepare me, you know? Was there any point in the fight where you thought maybe, you know, you're in trouble, you got to regroup, or did you feel like you were in control the entire 15 minutes? I felt like I was in control, you know? I was against the cage. I clinched him. He couldn't move me. So, third round. Did you just want to get the win at that point? Because you were hearing some boos. Did that bother you? No, I was. I'm, I'm, I knew he was going to go for a kill. You know, he was going to try to take my head off. You know, I was up two rounds and none. What would you do? I would sit there. I play it smart. You know, I was still trying to hit him. I still. I think I finally rocked him a couple times in that third round. But whatever. You know, I got the win. That's all I care about. He looked super tired. Couldn't even lift his arms. Did you notice that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's why I kept punching. <laughs> you think his physique, you know, played a part against him? It's really nothing, man. He's tough. He's. I mean, top five in the world, dude, you know. Biggest athletic achievement of your career tonight? Oh, yeah, of course, man. You've had some big ones, but this is big. Come on, man. Cool, man. man. Winnipeg, first time. Let's go. This is awesome. Don't get better than this. Who do you want next? My bed. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. This was a huge win. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.